Come over here. Come over. That's it. That's more like the, the Fergus we know and love. Right, this is what a lot of people think is Owen Glendur's cave. But it isn't. <laughs> Stay there, Fergus. Stay. You might witness me fall into my back. Where are you? Gussie? Hey boy. Sorry about that. Oh. So, bloody hell. Let's go. Shut up. <laughs> now we're getting into rock climbing territory now. Yeah, what's occurring? Well, uh, Today I'm in Snowdonia and it's October the 12th. Sorry, October the 10th. I should know that because it's my Christine's birthday. <laughs> but she's not here today. I um, yeah, I'm near Beth Gellert and it's a bloody hot day. It's unbelievable for October. It must be well, it's 25 when I left the car, and I think it must be in the Fahrenheit. It's going to be in, getting into the low 70s. So that's uh, pretty. Uh, I hope this is focused on me. Yeah, that's pretty incredible, really. Anyway, I've gone up to Owen Glendua's cave, like um, Dove Cottage, not Dove Cottage, Dove Crag Cave, which is the better known cave in the Lake District. This is um, a lesser known cave, and those that do come up here normally go to the wrong cave. There's a mine working at the entrance, and uh, they think that is the cave, but actually, you have to go up a very exposed rampus around the face of the cliff with a 200 foot drop beneath your feet and uh, for those without a head for heights it can be quite scary so I'm going to show you the correct Owen Glendur's cave uh, yeah I've got uh, Fergus with me so He'll have to be on a lead. Oh gosh, I just remembered I haven't brought his lead. Oh god, that's going to be interesting. Getting him around the ramparts. <laughs> around the ramp. <laughs> so uh, we'll have to <laughs> play that one by ear. It's up there. Sh you can't really see it yet. It's in the, in the shadow. I'll see if I can focus on it, but I don't think I'll pick it out because it's in the shadow. Uh, no, you can't really see anything. It's on that cliff up there. I'll show you later. See you later. Yeah, I don't know if you can see, but um, the big cliff with Owen Glendur's cave is right behind me now. The uh, cave itself is a is like a cleft, uh, horizontal cleft in the cliff. Yeah, right at the top, a dark slash across the top of the cliff. A lot of people think the slash line, the, the cave at the start of the uh, horizontal slash, as it were, is the... Um, the cave only into his cave itself but it isn't it's uh, I'll show you where it is uh, yes yeah, it's, it's a, I've said before it's a really hot day today and I'm I've got quite a sore foot a really aching foot so I've been hobbling a bit so but between the uh, 
the steepness of the ascent and my sore foot. <laughs> I've been laboring a bit, but um, not too far to go now. And uh, yeah, I'll show you around. That's the with us, Snowden. Flewev, Iraran, uh, Shabod through the gap. And my little Hebog's up there. That's Munith. Is that Munith Mauer? Oh no, is that the Nantley Ridge? Uh, that could be, yeah, that's part of the Nantley Ridge, I think. Uh, that little peak there is called a, a Castor. Yeah, you get a better view now. Unfortunately, it's the sun. It's north facing, so you haven't got the sun on it. But there's a steep gully up there we've got to go up. And uh, unfortunately, the wind is blowing quite strong, so. I was hoping to get the drone out, but <laughs> that's probably not possible, which is disappointing because it'd be great to get some drone footage from up there. Yeah, you might be able to see that slash now better. Intimidating. I'd like to fall down there. Come on! This way! Come on! I don't know why he's struggling. Oh, he's going right round. God! I don't know what sort of Fergus he can normally say. It's more like the, the Fergus we know and love. It's going to be a no drone flight and no drone day today. I normally go up the, uh, the gully over there, which is a nice scramble. But uh, with the dog, I'll give it a miss today. Oh, Fergus. Right, this is what a lot of people think is Owen Glendur's cave. But it isn't. <laughs> Sorry, face. That is just a mine working. Right. That's not it, Fergie. That is not Ferg Fergus. Oh, it's not owing them to his cave, even though it looks like it. All right, here we go. It's going to be awkward for the dog. You must have to stay, Fergus. Stay there, Fergus. Stay. Some years since I've been. Ooh.
Right. You might witness me fall into my death. This is uh, Owen Glendur's cave. Yeah, what an outlook, eh? Yeah, the dog hasn't been able to follow me. I hope he doesn't try. He'd be suicidal. I've forgotten how steep it was to get round. But, uh, yeah, this is it. Really, uh, well, you could spend the night. It's uh, flat and dry. I know the significance of that stone. Is it a seat? Uh, I wouldn't do his throw, maybe. It's very small. A few people could camp in here. So it's nice and flat. A bit dirty. You certainly wouldn't have the uh, Jehovah's Witnesses knocking on your door. <laughs> yeah. Now let's get out of here. It's, uh, let's say if you haven't got a head for heights and you a bit nervous. I suppose this is like Jack's Rake in a way, in the, in the Lake District. So it's a long way, long way down. Still alive. <sighs> Poor fellow, I guess he's barking. He's a, a bit panic stricken because he couldn't follow me. Uh, I'm glad he didn't. Hi guys. Where are you? Gussie. Hey boy. Sorry about that. Oh. All abandoned, eh? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, you can see it's uh, it's uh, a bit of a scramble. Hey. So you can see why a lot of people see why a lot of people a lot of people think uh, Owen Glendur's cave is the one at the beginning. So, bloody hell, let's go, shut up, <laughs> now we're getting into rock climbing territory now, right, I better put this camera away. Gusts blowing in from the sea. There are some walkers down there. First I've seen today. Uh, as always, I'm deliberating where they're to go. Go to the summit, which is uh, where they're all off. 
which is actually the hill or mountain of the cave. Surprisingly enough, I've been up here before though, I mean, plenty of times. So I'm not one of those people I've just got to go and bag a peak just because it's there. Not if I've already done it. I might just go back down the gully. a t-shirt as you can see and I'm about around 2,000 feet and it's warm <laughs> warm in October on a mountain unbelievable uh, the wind's probably too strong for you to hear me very well but uh, yeah I'm parched now so I'm gonna get back to the car I'll see you later this is blowing all over the place yeah yeah, I'll catch you later. I'm heading back to the car. I'm really thirsty and <laughs> haven't got a drink, but I have got one in the car, so catch you soon. Yeah, at the risk of repeating myself, a quick resume of what we've done. Right, Owen Lindu's cave. Um, I usually drive into the Beth Gellert Forest and park up where, not far from where Bikes Beth Gellert used to be. I don't know where it, if it's still there. And then follow the, uh, there's a path through the forest. Uh, it's Moylarogoff is the mountain. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's for somebody who's confident and, uh, not too bothered about heights it's no problem if you're only used to walking on manicured footpaths then you might find it a bit exposed and scrambly but it's certainly worth it it's a unique um it's a unique place in snowdonia and not a lot of people go there so i'd say check it out if you've uh, if you've got the confidence to uh, take it on as i say it's nothing hard just that it can be a bit exposed and if you've got a dog with you like I did it's probably not accessible with a dog because it's uh, as I say the dog my, Fergus is very used to scrambling in the mountains but even he couldn't get up there today so leave your dog behind <laughs> or leave him at the bottom of the gully and uh, have a go yourself right okay catch you later